Weird and wonderful go together like Cronenberg and body horror, and both are more than welcome in the horror genre, which prides itself on celebrating conceptual experiments at every turn. But that doesn't mean we should take these wild ideas for granted, especially the ones that take everyone by surprise and really make their madness work. Often it's a case of the stranger, the scarier, and whilst these films are definitely a delicious cinematic treat, one can't help but think that the elevator pitches for these movie concepts must have had heads spinning, with producers taking some serious gambles to bring mind-melting concepts to life. So let's take a look at the films that celebrate everything from Elvis and JFK facing off against the undead to Tiger King taken to its logical extreme creating pieces that are bold for their crazy punt at something never seen before, but memorable for actually managing to pull it off. God bless eccentric horror. I am the illogical Ash from What Culture Horror, and these are nine ridiculous horror movie concepts that shouldn't work, but do. 9. Haunted Dress in Fabric a possessed dress that harasses its wearers conjures up images of Doctor Strange's sentient cape for the most part. And whilst in fabric does give itself breathing room by framing its story as a horror comedy rather than straight-up scares, the lady in red of this story absolutely works. It's just that lady is invisible and entwined with fabric, and also not a lady but a dress. There's not much more to sell this creepy flick on than that, with the wearers cursed to death and a dang sight more than that when you learn of its horrible intentions for those that condemn themselves to this fashion killer. In Fabric is a dark little tale that wears its weird heart on its sleeve. Quite literally, since we're talking dressmaking here, I guess. It'll make you think twice about what price you really pay when you get a bargain, that's for sure. 8. Giant Humanoid Owl Demands Children Lord of Tears Admittedly, the ridiculous horror concept here is not one that director Laurie Brewster came up with all on its own. Oh no, this one is pulled straight from the depths of Cornish legend, telling the tale of a large humanoid creature that takes on the features of an owl, or the Owl Man in layman's terms. Whilst the legend is disputed as, you know, just being a big owl, Lord of Tears doubles down on the concept of a freakish bird human haunting a man moving back to his childhood home. Adding to the intensity is that this isn't just a simple urban legend at all, but mixes in pagan magic and ancient deities that the Owl Man willingly represents. Lord of Tears is an indie title that might not land for everyone, but its creepy imagery and intense marketing campaign, just take a look at the Owlman pranks on YouTube, only serves to prove what a wild idea mashing up all these factors is. Stage fright might have done the look first, but Lord of Tears hammered home the uncomfortably weird scares. 7. Demon Skin Clown Suit Clown if I describe the plot of Clown to you as man accidentally wears the ancient skin of a demon that also happens to be a children's entertainment costume, you'd rightly probably look at me a bit weird. But that is the entire conceit of Clown. That a man enters the basement of a house he is selling and whacks on an old crusty clown outfit to stand in for his son's birthday party performance. Only, when he falls asleep in the thing, it does not come off. And the perils of wearing basement clothes that he has no idea where they have been becomes all too clear. Where they have been, dear watcher, is on the bones of a demon. So he is decking himself out with the leather of evil which slowly begins to take him over. Discovering an appetite for kids to accompany his rainbow blood and classic red nose, this clown is one of the scarier entertainers out there. Just look to his Chuck E. Cheese feast if you need evidence. And I'm not talking about pizza. 6. Vengeful City of Nightmare Monsters Nightbreed the ever-underrated Nightbreed taps into Clive Barker's special brand of strangeness like nothing else, reveling in the wacky concepts of its creation and delivering all manner of visual treats. The core of this story is a complex one, but one easily rendered down to a serial killer, his patient, and an underground city of monsters that get caught in the middle. One serial killer comes psychotherapist by way of Dr. Decker attempts to cover up his murders by pinning the blame on his patient, Aaron. Aaron takes the hit for these killings, only to find himself in the aforementioned Monster City, home to the Nightbreed, a group that rises up to sort out the sticky situation he finds himself in. Now, the interesting part of Nightbreed being on this list is that it is a ridiculous concept that did not work upon release. It's only in the years since that it's hailed as a true cult movie, one that has since garnered the respect it deserves. Rightfully, it should have been long buried by its critical reception, but the strength of its creation allowed it to reclaim its place among the best. Good. 5. Tiger Home Invasion – Burning Bright Compared to some of the other entries on this list, Burning Bright might not seem like that much of a crazy concept. But really, when else have you seen a home invasion movie headed up solely by a tiger? Predating Crawl by nearly a decade and taking the Predator on the Loose concept for a Tiger King spin, 
making a movie with a hungry carnivore, one that is pure evil and bears the name Lucifer just to seal the deal, is hard work. Even more so when digital effects aren't involved and Lucifer is played by three very real tigers throughout the runtime. Suck it, life of pie! reinforcing just how terrifying it really would be to have the zoo come to you. A massive real tiger as one of your main characters should not work from a logistical standpoint at all, not to mention how it would inhibit some of the more up-close and personal scenes simple effects work could easily manage instead. But director Carlos Brooks manages to pull this off and then some. 4. Man Becomes His Mother's Arms – Santa Sangre Santa Sangre is the type of movie that crops up on all manner of weird movie lists, and it isn't hard to see why. As much a horror movie as it is an avant-garde visual experience, the film is Alejandro Jodorowsky's strange tale of a young man that reconnects with his mother after escaping a mental institution. His mother has no arms, and as such, uses her son to do her bidding in place of her own limbs, most of which consists of killing other women. Nothing like family bonding, eh? Once a family of circus performers, now a pair of intertwined murderers, Santa Sangre manipulation of storytelling and psychological dissonance it inspires in viewers is nothing if not impressive, with many praising its diabolical weirdness in the years since its release. It's not a movie for everyone, but it is undeniable that Santa Sangre is one of those films that just wouldn't work had anyone else come by way of directing it. 3. Being forcibly turned into a walrus – Tusk the journey from man to walrus is a long and painful one, as Justin Long's character, Wallace, could surely tell the world. Tusk is Kevin Smith's fever dream of a movie that sees a man transformed by way of meticulous, torturous surgeries into a big old marine mammal, but not as you'd know the humble walrus. The whole movie was inspired by a Gumtree advert stating a lodger could have free residence if they dressed as a walrus, discussed on Smith's podcast and then continued as a joke taken too far. But oh, what a joke it is, and how weirdly uncomfortable Tusk turns out to be. Horrific in everything from its inception to its creation, Tusk is the quintessential movie emblematic of horror gone rogue, but that still manages to work from committing wholeheartedly to its own experimental nightmare. This just should not work. There is no other timeline where this movie does work, but this is the one universe out of countless others where Tusk is actually an incredible movie experience. 2. Sentient Tire – Rubber It's one thing to have a sentient tire on the loose, committing crimes, exploding heads, and rolling true and free throughout the wilderness. But it is completely another to have said badass tire situated in the midst of a fourth wall smashing cometry at the same time. There's layers to this whole movie that belie a far more interesting and nuanced experience than what it'd have you believe by its cover alone. That cover is of course a tire rolling away from its bloody streak of human destruction, and while signing up for a bit of B-movie nonsense is part and parcel of the horror experience, it's the sticking around for the satirical breakdown of audience expectation that counts. This is a film within a film, with audience members participating participating in Robert the Tire's reign of destruction, following their own tragic tale of confusion from the sidelines as the telekinetic wheel of rubber works its magic. It's absolutely bonkers by all stretches of the imagination, and manages to wrangle in positive reviews across the board to boot. 1. Elvis and JFK Fight a Mummy – Bubba Hotep Ozzy Davis, claiming to be a black John F. Kennedy, died after the assassination attempt and abandoned by Lyndon Johnson. Bruce Campbell, claiming to be the real Elvis Presley, his dead counterpart actually impersonator he swapped places with to live the quiet life. A mummy just being a mummy. What strange ingredients to make up this potent potion of madness? Bubba Hotep would thrive on this description alone, but fortunately you get a whole hour and a half of movie to go with it. What could very easily be a film made up on its big dumb fun factor alone? Own, actually pans into thoughtful rumination on legacy and death, with Bruce Campbell stealing the show yet again in another cult horror offering. This film, where Elvis and JFK are tasked with taking down a murderous mummy set loose on their retirement home, exists. And that is just so good to know. And that's our list. What other weird concepts should have rightly stayed on the cutting room floor in any other genre? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I've been Ash over on social media at Ash Millman, and this has been What Culture. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more spine tingling horror content. Thanks for watching.